But is Kennedy's sort of country bumpkin turned senator just an act? Kennedy went to the private and prestigious Vanderbilt University, has a law degree from the University of Virginia, and is a Rhodes Scholar, which is probably the most prestigious achievement for any student after college. And they go and study in England at Oxford University. Some of his Republican colleagues seem to think his whole folksy persona is made up. The farming and ranching people where I'm where I come from uh, know that John Kennedy is super smart Rhodes lawyer who kind of pretends to be a, you know, aw shucks kind of guy as he picks your pocket. It's not just his co-workers that wonder whether Kennedy Kennedy's something of a phony. In a 2019 piece, conservative columnist Quinn Hillier, who went to college with the senator in the 90s, called Kennedy a habitual shapeshifter and even accused him of exaggerating up his accent. Not only is Kennedy accused of faking his accent, but maybe his politics as well. I, I should pause and say for a second, wait, did I say in the 90s? I'll bet he didn't go to college in the 90s, because that would mean that he's younger than me. Anyway, after all, he was a member of a different political party in 2004. I'm a Democrat. I support Senator Kerry. I have endorsed Senator Kerry, as you have, as Chris has. He's the nominee of our party. Look, politicians are phonies. They have one persona for the camera and constituents and another behind closed doors. So is this really that different? Is his constituents, if his constituents are happy with how he's doing in Congress, does it really matter if his persona is a bit of an act? Join us now is Louisiana State University Communications Professor Robert Mann. Professor Mann is also a former press secretary for Louisiana Democratic Senators, Russell Long and John Bro, And they sort of came up together uh, in, the, uh, in the system. Last year, he wrote an op-ed in the Washington Post blasting Kennedy for his allegedly fake folksy persona titled, Our Foghorn Leghorn Republican Senator a little resembles his former Democratic self, but in Louisiana... We know the type. Um, all right, you, I've got to ask you, Robert, for those who don't know the Foghorn Leghorn uh, reference, please explain. Well, Foghorn Leghorn is a, is a cartoon character that a lot of people, maybe our generation, will remember from uh, the, sun, the Saturday morning cartoons where a very folksy um, a rooster um, who, who had these uh, very uh, country sayings, and uh, I mean, it's pretty much he talked like John Kennedy. That's what, what else yeah. can I say? All right, so let me ask you this. I mean, so you wrote a whole op-ed piece about this. Um, you know, you were a Democrat when he was a Democrat. He's now a a Republican. It does seem to me that there there's a fair question about whether this matters, right? Which is, if his constituents are happy with the new John Kennedy. The new guy who maybe has a bigger accent than he used to have. He's got uh, these more of these homespun sayings than he used to have. He has different politics than he used to have. If people are happy, what's the big deal? Well, I mean, that's a fair point. I think there is something to, to be said for that. People and people in Louisiana, I think, to some degree, are happy with him. Um, you know, my complaint with, with Kennedy beyond his phoniness is that is that he doesn't get anything done for his state because he's so dedicated to playing foghorn leghorn mr haney on fox news he's so committed to this role and so committed to the job of just being a buffoon and, and playing a hillbilly on television that he doesn't have time to really do anything for his state and i think the people of of, of louisiana ought to be expecting more out of their senator than just to you know play a fictional cartoon rooster on television every day Mr. Haney, of course, and now for we should have had graphics ready to go with Mr. Haney and Foghorn Leghorn, and so we could explain who all these people are. There's a lot of 1960s, 70s cultural there, references, I know. There he is. There's Mr. Haney from Green, <laughs> Green Acres. <laughs> is. Um, uh, all right. Well, look, it's, you know, it, it is, I have to say, I didn't know about his background. I didn't know about the fact that he was a Rhodes Scholar. Um, and, you know, that does, you know, make you believe that there's no way he is the simple 
guy he's portraying himself to be, right? Um, look, I'm not one to, to criticize. I went to some fancy schools as well, but, you know, I, I don't pretend to, to not. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I was shocked at this, and I was interested in your op-ed piece, um, but I, I have to say that I don't know that this all bothers me uh, that much. You know, President uh, George W. Bush spoke with a, a bit of a, a bigger Texas accent um, uh, when he entered the, the White House. There were arguments that President Obama uh, changed at times in the way, um, you know, his intonation, depending on his audience. I don't know if this uh, this matters. Putting it aside, the you know, your point, your broader point, which is a political one about your complaint about him. I don't know that the whole Mr. <laughs> Mr. Haney and Foghorn Leghorn thing really, really matters. But I'll give you the final word. Well, uh, you know, here, here's why I think it, it matters. And, and I, you know, I was talking to a group of, of uh, voters just the other day when I was speaking uh, at a, 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 an organization at LSU. And the, the topic of Kennedy came up and to a person, they were uh, they said, well, what we want is authenticity in our in our politicians. We want people who are authentic, who we really can believe in that when they say who they are and what they're doing, we can believe them. And I think they perceive that Kennedy is just not an authentic human being, that he's a that he's an actor playing a role. And and I understand your I take your I do take your point. But I think authenticity in, in politics is, uh, is, is something that we, we ought to yeah. care about, and I care about it. Yeah, I, I, un unfortunately, everyone says that they want authenticity in politics, right? Everyone says that they just want straight newscasts uh, with, with no sense of analysis or opinion. And then you look at what's out there, and you see what people gravitate towards, and they say one thing, and they act in another way. Uh, anyway... So interesting stuff. He has an interesting background. Uh, that clip of him pronouncing himself as a Democrat was just, I, you know, I, I sort of knew that intellectually, but hearing it again after knowing who Senator Kennedy is today is a bit uh, shocking. There's some people, by the way, on the right who think that he's still a secret Democrat. Um, so, Professor Robert Mann, thank you very much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.